Good morning, YouTube. I'm a cup and a half of coffee deep, so I'm starting to wake up a little bit. It's Thursday. That is our first yard sale. We're gonna go check out what they've got. Hopefully a bunch of really good stuff. First sale down. Didn't have a lot, but I did find these for $2. I gotta look them up still. I know Kohan's an expensive brand though. And these are in pretty good shape. Minor scuffing from use, but Kohan uh, Country. Put some oil on them. Yeah. I don't know. For two dollars. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can find any more. Alright, so I'm looking up those loafers. It seems like realistically, but still making money, probably list them somewhere between 20 and $30. So probably I'll put them up for like $24.99 or best offer. Not a bad pickup for two bucks and we're uh, in search of our next sale. We seen a sign. I think I spotted a free vintage suitcase. It does say free. And it is a vintage Samsonite. Let's peep this bad lid out. It's not too bad. And it has the key. Cool. It's got some wear, but overall, I don't think it's too bad. Probably clean up the outside a little bit. Quick stop at Speedway for provisions and gas. We passed a couple signs, we're gonna go back and check those out. Almost forgot we had to stop here. Sold that long sleeve, brand new with tags Pendleton shirt. Sorry, I got Pringles in my mouth. Took a $30 offer on it because it is long sleeve and it's summer. I bought it half off at Goodwill for I think $2.50. So $30 offer, get it out of here and sold a Lincoln Park Hybrid Theory CD that we picked up the other day. Unopened. Unopened for $6. We're gonna send those on their way to their new homes. Back on track. I cannot stop eating these Pringles. I don't know why I bought them. This happens every time I buy Pringles. They're so good. We're gonna uh, check this sale out. This was a garage sale slash estate sale. Can you guess what that goes to? My favorite. Oh, I'm so excited about that. We got some cool stuff, but it is all covered for protection, so I will show you later during the haul. Just leaving this garage sale. Tons of baby stuff. I mean, tons of baby stuff. And rich finds. <laughs> the one non-baby item. This made the babies. That, that probably did make all the babies. That's funny. Alright, we're gonna uh, hopefully find some more. More garage sale scores. Old brass crab ashtray and this thing comes out so you can clean it or whatever. I can't get it to go back in. I've had similar crabs before, crab ashtrays. Um, I think I sold the last one for 20 and I paid a dollar for it. This I got out of the free box. It's vintage Revlon. I have to look it up because I don't have any clue. But it's complete and it's vintage Revlon. So I don't know. Might be worth something. Might not be. I have absolutely no idea. And we are coming up to another sale, I believe. Multiple sales. Multiple sales. Figured you guys would appreciate it. I 
we're out of money. <laughs> that right there. Mystery item number two, three, four. Something Not sure. Uh, that just ate up the rest of our funds. I did buy some little stuff though. These are some of the smalls I got from that same sale. This was a total freaking fluke. Uh, know, a month ago, we bought two old sprinklers, like the tripod sprinklers, from an auction. One of them worked fine, we actually use it. And the other one needed a new head. What are the odds that A, I still have it, and B, I find a sprinkler head that I'm pretty sure will work? And he gave it to us because we were out of money. <laughs> we spent all our money on that mystery item. I needed one of these and so would those rich. I actually needed the tiny Phillips, but I couldn't find one. He gave us all this stuff because we were out of it. Well, we paid 28 for all of it. That was in a 10 cent box. It's glass. Welch's jam jar from 19 something, 88. 1988. I was four. And then I got these out of a free box. If I can get them out of the bag. Old money bags. And then this one. Rockwall Manufacturing Company. And this one. Co-op Elevator. Co-op Elevator Company. This one's actually really interesting to me. I'll have to do some research on that. I think that was that was it. And now we have to find a bank because we spent all our cash. You guys gotta check this out. Look at the little guy. I don't know what it is, but it's awesome. It's like a toy. <laughs> Fascinated by it. All right, back to yard sales. Found one. Let's go check it out. Just found the coolest shirt. I don't know how Rich missed this. He was looking at clothing. And it's like a Hawaiian Harley Davidson shirt. Check that out. I'm stoked about it for a dollar. We are to our destination, which is Rich's mom's house. She has a good sized list of stuff she needs him to do. So bear with me on the wrap up, but I'll do the best I can. I already showed you everything in that bag. That's the money bags and the smalls. Bought that retro kitchen stool for six dollars. Probably put it up for twenty. Rich paid ten for this. It's a modern radio based off the cathedral style. Get about twenty-five out of that. You seen the Barry White and you seen the Cole Hans. Old Western Electric rotary dial telephone. You seen the crab. You seen the Revlon. This we spent a dollar on. It's an old bench vice, but it's not marked anything. So I'm gonna. Have, there's some numbers on the bottom. I'll have to look up. There's a better view of the phone. And then that stand goes to that globe. It's in really good condition. I spent 10 on it. Probably list it for around 40, 45. And then you've seen the free. This is a 1946 or 47 Stromberg and Carlson uh, AM FM radio record player console. It's got the Art Deco design. It's kind of hard to show you because it's secured to the truck. Yeah. Because we still got a yeah. ways before we got to go home. Yeah, it's pretty secured. So that is, that is what we have found. Oh yeah, there's a better view of the free Same suitcase. Tonight. Found that on the side of the road. Probably going to list this first. It's so cool. I love it. Rich, I'll tell you how mad I was. I know, Rich. All right, well, thanks for coming along with us. We're going to get to work at Rich's mom's. Take care. Bye.